Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Azan Adiola. Yeah, today I'll be showing you guys on how to make use of your knit collection. If you have knit collection, you can just open it on your Photoshop and I'll show you how to how I use mine and so you also can be able to do what I do with it. So that is just the essence of this tutorial. If you don't have any collection you can check out the link below the description. In the description box to get the link or a video will pop up. A video link will pop up at the right side of your screen to download all my plugins. On my photoshop plugins so before we go on please make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel at azan adiola photoshop tutorials so i'll just jump straight to it so this is the image you are going to be using i got this from my brother who is a photographer so this is one of his client image so i'm going to be using this his photography name is Gorilla Lens, so you can just check him out. Gorilla Lens, like lens with the Z. So you can check him out on Instagram and see what he's creating. So we'll just continue with that and so I'll just du duplicate this layer. Ctrl J to duplicate and I will convert it into a smart object. Then the first thing I want to do is the color effects pro 4. I'll click and wait for it to load. So this is what I, I test run it before so this is what I came up with but I will scatter this setting. I pray I get this stuff back because I just freestyled it and so I'll just click. This is where I want to click first. Punch. Yeah, this is where I started from. So just select your super punch and go to your... I just play around with it so just watch as I play around with it. <laughs> There's no depending on your col your image, the contrast, the brightness of your image. So it, the setting may vary and the quality of your image. So the setting you can't just use the same number I'm using. If not, you won't because we are not using the same. But I can drop this. Okay, what I'll do is I'll drop the image, the link to the image. Probably, yeah, I'll drop the link to the image below so you can practice with this image if you are practicing with this image so you can follow the same figures i'm using and you achieve the same stuff so let's just continue so i'll just now i don't want to touch this right now i'm going to my black and white i want to remove the color so my saturation should be off here yeah? so i want to go to my local contrast yeah
so for this i think i'm kinda okay with this yeah so i'll just click okay for now yeah so so the next thing i want to do is to add my viveza 2 so i'll click ok so this is just put this at 30 and the brightness like so so this is perfect like this so click ok So the next thing I will do is to add my what do you call it? Yeah, I want to add my filter gallery. Go to filter gallery. Yeah, so you go under this dot, diffuse glow. So you add glow amount. Normally this glow is just for the highlight to pop up if i increase it you will notice it see see you understand so that is the idea but i'm not going to add too much because if i add more than one you see the cloth losing its detail so i want that detail on the cloth so i'm just adding one even though it's not reflecting really reflecting on the face but one should do so and the grain should be around two or three because we are still going to add noise to it so just add like two three grains and this the clear amount should be 20 please so just put click ok yeah yeah so the next thing i'm going to do is so the next thing i will be adding is What they call it sharpen i'll add on sharp mask to it so just leave the setting like it's 15 2.0 threshold and all that so go to filter again and we add noise add a little bit of noise to it like this or we can reduce it or make it no let's reduce this 3.4 make your uniform you add monochromatic So, so far this is what we've got into if it's, now this is looking like an artwork but we are still going to make it look more of an artistic work like a pencil artwork so that's what we are trying to is that what i'm trying to achieve <laughs> i just want to show you how to use the collection to do this so that's why i don't really know you may not want to give it that another look so I'll now I'll go to my HDR effects pro to add so we'll just wait for it to load so you see the effects that you can use So this is the one I I applied I guess. Okay, this is the one I applied. I'm just going to do a little bit of adjustments here. Not too much.
So I'll just leave it something like this. Yeah, it's looking more like an So this is looking more like an artistic work, artwork, like a pencil work. So So you get the idea. So you can easily see the grains and the what what do I call it the noise we added makes it really look great like real. So we can still tweak it a little bit and we can still go to HDR FX Pro to to add a color. Maybe want to do it like a vintage kind of color. So we just double click on it. So I'll just go down to yeah this is it. so I'll just click and woo, so you can just adjust the shadow maybe the shadow is too much or yeah, something like this you can increase the highlights or decrease yeah something like that then the contrast well, we may just decide to keep it at probably like minus 10 uh, the black I guess it's okay like this for me so I'll just click okay so this is looking more like it so these are many more you can do with your knee collection but this one which i'm just showing you so you can really play around with knee collection and just make use of don't be scared to click on this stuff and just try it out i didn't watch this from a youtube video or anything i just played around with it and i got it so you guys can also play around with it and you won't get some things that will be that nobody has even touched anybody anybody before so like this i maybe next time we'll look at other ones like the define to the hd the sharpener pro the silver effects pro 2 and other ones analog effects pro 2 also you may look at them and yeah so if you like this stuff please hit on the like button and drop your comments below let me know what you feel about it is it good so you can even brighten it a little bit let's just add some brightening effect to it Yeah, I guess it's okay like so I'll just group them and do the before and after before and after. So we are good to go. So see you guys soon. Don't forget to hit on the subscribe button, leave a comment down, like the video, and catch you guys. Love you, peace out.